However, side with the Queen of Pain, I think they have start they wrapped around a lot. Will well, be needed to rotate sooner blood, than later. The later the first blood is coming out, the better it is for the Zeus. And on bottom lane, they may oh, try for that Rubik once again. Yeah, there's the blood grenade coming in with the rocket okay, barrage, yeah. and it's gonna they be first blood them, up not... on top and down on Ooh. bottom. Cybe already picking up. Scenario. Where oh, as the Rubik there's just kind Dendi of... in danger, by the way, trying to snatch the, the shield rune, but uh -oh. yeah, uh, the Queen of Pain is keeping up the pressure, the running away, the blink is gonna get off cooldown in 5 seconds, but the the runes are coming in, the bottles, however, is still empty, they will connect with the stun, and down goes this Zeus. He did so much work there with the fairy fires. There's a double smoke coming in up on top where Shad has been exposed there, and this Luna has been punished already twice. They won't connect with the stun, but the damage from Klaus Locruto's uh, trample is there, and he will chase him right under the tower with the Pulverize, and down goes the Luna for yet a third time. Mary coming in around from the other side, attempts to do a slow there, but it's gonna be stopped in his tracks. Dominion is trying to at least, well, get one kill out of this. The Golems are doing the fighting, a little bit of a juke around the tree, but the, then Ooh, nice Ultimate double. was used up for a double kill. They will take Klasno along with it. Before it's too late still. Yeah, attempts are being made by uh, by Bait here to at least try to find one target, and it's gonna be Rain Prince. Nice little jump away from Dendi, not to be in the call down, but still it does give an opening onto Klasno. Oh, ver that, there's the, the telekinesis Interrupt. coming in. They're gonna yeah. stop Klasno Crudo right in his tracks, and here comes the Mary Army. They will take all of the damage from the Sonic Wave, but no heroes will be hit during that. Oh, Queen of Pain, yeah, it's gonna make it a make it a run. If, if, if the ultimate had like 10 seconds oh, less cooldown, Oh, Nesphere then in the dangerous the situation. Will they stop the TP? But they don't see him, unfortunately. So they will bait out Klaus, no Crudo. Call down is gonna be taken down onto Mary and the creeps. Bye bye, creeps. And there's the pulverize as well onto the chicken. And boom. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, just in time for the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain was oh, buried in the fountain before that happened. Another one. And Dendi would have ulted like two seconds early. He would have gotten a double with just the ultimate. But they know it's early game timing, like you said, with the Rave King skeleton. It's just impossible to fight in oh, Rave yeah, King, they, meanwhile. They find who they were looking for, and it was Shad. They're gonna throw everything they have, but it's gonna be interrupted oh. as Bait were in the vicinity right there. Stoma and will, will throw in the Pulverize himself and get a very nice double kill out of Dad's transaction. Side. We'll lose another one. Warlord, Troll Warlord just now finished the Battle Fury, got a Yasha queued up next. But with oh. that Yasha queued up, it's gonna take They finally while. found the Queen of Pain, they will utilize the Pulverize for yet another time. So this is something that Stomanian, I assume he's really happy. Like, this is the best spell stolen, which is adding up a lot more to the lockdown. And yeah, it's gonna be easier to take down the the peskiest target they have here. And the second one is Nesphere, who has been found in the bottom lane. Stoneback leading the charge, really willing to get his hands onto the troll as their Luna has been super punished. Class no charging in. No reincarnation available. Stonebank will lose his life and trade for Nesphere, but the rest of Bait are here to make sure Class no Crudo gets down. Ru tries to run away. The on the uproar and the onslaught are still on cooldown, so nowhere to go, nowhere and to hide, and kill. rain as well. Rubik. Steal the spell, throw in the telekinesis to make sure it gets stopped, and then, you know, you do you. Nesphere once again will be scattered out by Mirawai and with Dendi with a heist rune. And yeah, finally some punishment is being thrown from bait as they have lost to the charge. Oh, but however up top, Shad is in danger as Rain Prince and our Riaf will find him. He still is gonna survive through everything there's and Stoma Yen is there to help out his buddy. Throws a telekinesis, but no, it's... The blink gets off cooldown in the right time. This time, the Luna... I mean, so he had his fun. But meanwhile, Klasno, th the rest of Bait are trying to hunt him down as Nesphere and Dendi are having a little bit of a face-off here, bouncing away, but he there's the lockdown with the root. So then the kind of overextended there, pretty much gave away oh, full blown glimmer cape, which they're gonna try to use to run down Dendi oh, with. Oh yeah, and that's gonna, gonna be, be a the pretty first easy kill. kill. It's yeah, been a while. I've kind of been yeah, I've kind of been impatient for himself to go scary. in for the ancients for for from Mary. As yeah, we have the level four creeps coming in, and it's time for Mary to shine. And this is something interesting, he already got the Pipe of Insight, so yeah. there's a lot oh, of magic no. resistance coming in. Shadow's gonna lose his life for the first time, right into the Calling Nesphere. There's a lot of damage coming in there with the BKB. He will survive through a lot, but Great. a nice King little 4 step forward. Here. He's got that ultimate. Oh, what a pause. Which feels like a very, you know, sad smile as, you know, at the second that, that pause goes off, it's gonna be introduced with a, with a stun. 
There will be an attempt to throw uh, the what's his face finger of death, but honestly, it, it, the, in the current patch, we have oh my god, we have Ooh, paid about nice jump. Again, but oh, Klaus, no, he will out. find the big target to pulverize. It's gonna be the Luna. Stonebank will lose his first life, and Shad doesn't have the second one to, to come about, so it's gonna be go time for the rest still. Oh, they managed to bait out the Queen of Pain out of the base, and it's gonna be a big kill. Rain Prince will follow on the other side. Mary keeping up the pressure, they will throw Telekinesis onto line, who will try to save his butt, but that's not gonna be the case once more. With that, the Roche is being gone for as that Roshan is falling quick to the Luna. They do see where Dendi is, and they will initiate the jump with Klausno throwing in the Pulverize onto the Zeus, but it's gonna be stopped in his tracks. Sonic Wave will connect as well, just to make sure he goes down, so there's no buyback available for him. Shad and Stominion are a bit in danger, but they're throwing in a lot of damage. Shad will try to protect himself with the Glimmer Cape, but it's just not gonna be enough. Meanwhile, in the back lines, Mary will take down Klaus no Kudo. Yes, here with the ultimate oh, still yeah. is angry as well, and... I don't know, they're, they're waiting maybe for Bates to come out on their own. Or anything in that similar manner, and oh, they're gonna find Klaus No, which is gonna be kind of awkward. He's gonna pop the BKB and run away to safety with the blade mail, but that leaves Ness here all by himself. Stone bag still keeping up the pressure, and down down goes the first life from the ages seconds before it goes it goes away. They will connect once more for well. staff. He tries to run away with the BKB, and of course, it's gonna be successful. There's no way you can disrupt that. For the time being, they do have the bling dagger as well, so they have eyes on Dendi. They're willing to commit for the jump, and they will do so. Blink with the abyssal blade and the sonic wave on top. Bait are kind of too late to respond there. They're gonna throw in the TPs, but yeah, this is the yeah, they will need to be quite careful about it. Nesphere does want to jump in on the their barracks that are open, so at least they can know where bait are without having some extra tower damage, and Shadow will pop the Eclipse to try to melt through the life of the troll, but there comes the BKB Klaus, and will find his target to pulverize, and the stone bank in an awkward position, reincarnation, he loses his first life, 10 seconds till then he comes back, but they do have Klaus no Crudo on lockdown, so at least once again the frontliner for Sype will be taken down, forcing the rest of the team to run away to hell. Ryan... In the danger zone, so the lunar beam Ooh, will connect through. Friend. Tries to run, then these get back into the picture. Will commit to a jump stun coming in as well, and down he goes. Well, that was an insane amount of space. Well, you say it's a simple item, but did you know that four staff stay scales twice as hard on Ark? Oh wait, no time. Wait, hold up. Sh uh, Shad was in a very bit in a danger zone there, but stone bag TP from between portals on in the right second. They will force out Cluster Crudo to jump. Of way too further away from his teammates and dropping him down really low even without that BK with the BKB duration still Nesphere is on the hunt for the Luna they will find an entry from the side but they will miss everything with the Sonic Wave still they're dancing around they're playing Sype away from the rest of the team Nesphere in the danger zone yet again and he will lose his life right there Rain on the side will be forced to watch will lose his life right afterwards and right behind the Roche pit is Lion just chilling, trying not to fall prey. To try and get a Shiva's guard, or even better, a sheep stick going. Yeah. To try and have that extra And once again, Klausner will right. be spotted down bottom, one stun coming in. They will throw in the Glimmer just so he's not gonna use the BKB there. Still has, has his eyes on Shad just for that pulverize, but oh, that's a long range jump coming in from the Queen of Pain. Feeling a bit greedy there, will land a very nice triple sonic wave there. But still, oh nobody God, is dying. Dandy is gonna be stomped around. There's the pulverize coming in, and down goes the Zeus. But we have the the Agon, uh, scepter for the Raid King, so that's an uh, extra seconds being bought. Nesphere will successfully hunt down the Rubik on the back lines. Still now, Shad with the heavy hitting. Ref looking pretty bad. Blink. Uh, no, we'll get off cooldown. Oh lord. This Space is over. somewhat Nesphere created. Has the this yeah. Maybe still, Stone Bank is still fighting this. Shad did survive, and there's the Eclipse coming in. Nesphere doesn't have a BKB, so he's slowly melting through. They will buy him seconds of time, but will it be enough? Dendi still on the side. He did force out a buyback just to take down the troll. Nice I think he spoke too though. soon, man. Hold yeah, on. the book from Dendi changed some Chen creeps at him. To just distract the ultimate where he's immortal, you can deal with the troll surprisingly well. Oh, there's. Now that the, la the the mid tier 3 tower is gone, they do have eyes on everybody else. Klausno is once again the target. Rain is gonna force out a buyback, but it's not gonna be an, uh, fast enough before these t uh, mid lane barracks are taken down. 
Stone Bank will lose his life for the first time. It's a bit of a contest for <laughs> for uh, uh, for the orb there for the gem of true sight, but it's just gonna be taken away from Bait. Plasno committing for the jump. Stone Bank is gonna lose his life for a second time, and Bait will need to force themselves out of this one. As Dendi's life is once again slightly at stake, Luna also but a nice jump KB away. Early. Yeah, but still they're trying to protect all. They will be risking Dendi here. Aeon Desk is gonna pro proc Stominion with the double stun there. Will they at least get something out of this? Answer oh, is no. Oh, the Glimmer Cape. The double Glimmer Cape yeah. save. Insanely oh, Mary. well timed. Whew. Mary survived just in the nick of time there. But still, yeah. Bates take two sets of racks. Which is 100 seconds now is using. Now the game is back to really being in anyone's hand. Bates oh, oh, still are Shad. severely favored. With Hold up. He in, does find the lion, but Nesphere does find him. Riaf as well is there to reciprocate, and Luna will be taken down to zero. And Ooh. believe it or not, this is the second finger of death this lion manages. Now, if they try to take a team fight without Dendi, they just need to make space for 40 seconds. Yeah, they but forced out a buyback onto that. Luna. Stominion in the danger zone. They will instantly jump on him, but it's gonna be also Stone, ba Stone Bank being blocked down for a little while. Nesphere on the hunt, going in very deep there. They will finally take down the Rubik. 20 seconds remaining till the return of Dendi, and this Luna is potentially on a dieback. Or Yav will commit with a very nice jump, connecting onto two with the Sonic Wave. But Rubik is gonna buy back. That's the reincarnation, and everybody's still alive. Everybody yeah. just continuing to hit Ten the next Ten seconds lane remaining. I want to be choked into their base. They will see where Rain is, instantly throwing him onto the high ground. Uh, for the, with the observer ward, class no, throwing in the pulverize onto Stone Bank. The fight has already begun. Riaf keeping up the charge. He will find Mary Y, but oh, he's not gonna be able to take him. Nesphere. It's a one by one jump here still. Stoneback is completely locked away from the rest of the team. He will lose his first life in the progress. In the process. Oh, a bit too soon of the yeah. Sonic Wave came Not in there. Still, Klosner is baiting the rest of the team away from the action. Stonebank will lose his life for yet another time. And there's nothing he can do with his Scepter upgrades. And pop, he goes down. 90 seconds remaining. Does have buyback available if the if it's needed. But it's looking kind of slim there as the kind on their buybacks, but Luna will have her soon. So Chad, as long as he makes sure to have enough money oh, for a buyback. Queen of Pain, a bit in the danger zone. He will be spotted. Lockdown will come one by one. And finally, the pesky Queen of Pain will be taken down. Oh lord, I thought if if she managed to pull off a, a lucky blink away, the buybacks available if that's the chance. So it's gonna be a little bit of a dance around. Nesphere, oh, he's gonna get... Well, the stun back is gonna be thrown onto Stone Bank. Riaf trying to get onto the Megas from the side, but the fortification will be popped in the last second. Stone Bank looking pretty low, still hasn't lost his first life. Won't throw in the hex onto Nesphere, but in the back lines, Riaf is counting and he is throwing all the damage he can. Megas have been secured. Nesphere a bit in the danger zone, still has the alive available. While a lot of damage is being thrown in, Klaus Recruiter will finally be taken down with a double Thunder God's Wrath. Queen of Pain forced on the run as her HP is looking low. Nesphere oh, loses the first one. They have a lock nice. on him, but he's gonna pop the BKB. Tries to TP away, and answer is Ooh, yes, he will that survive. Was a mistake from Stone Bank. They Ooh. had the damage if they only wouldn't have tried to throw stuns when the BKB was taking anyway. If they would have just gone full right click, it would have been insane. In enemy territory. They will line themselves up very, very carefully here to at least try to find. Well, some stray lamb away from the flock to take down first, and it's Stone Bank that they see, Klasno as well, but the jump will be committed by Nesphere, who will instantly take down the Rubik Stomanian. Stone Bank also a bit in danger, reincarnation will save him for a Nesphere little while, but oh, yeah, he did force out the refresher. Buyback is gonna be used on Stomanian and Bait are gonna try to are forcing themselves out of the base, which does feel like a Nuber mistake as Dandy will be the first one to be spotted. Klasno will use up the pulverized Sonic Wave, will be oh, taking no, it down Stone Bank. Again. Life one is down. Still. Oh Dandy, he must be hating this Aeon disc two times now. All of Dandy's burst damage got ignored because if you reread the Aeon this carefully. Found will be hexed. Uh -oh. Primal Beast forced to run in. Takes a lot. Yeah, they have a lock on it. to him. They really. They. Oh, they pl pretty much deleted him when he was about 20 seconds on HP. 
another one will be the line so that's two kills secured and one and a half minute to at least try to control this lane a bit more yeah it's just such a back and forth i mean hopefully we're not gonna be having game three with an hour and a half and also oh nesphere is gonna commit to the jump he does find luna and he's willing to man fight it but little as he know is the rest of bait are here to reciprocate but he keeps up the pressure stomanian might be looking at losing his second life now but chad is there to respond and they're gonna burst nope, him down the ultimate still overpowered oh and with a stolen finger of death as well to top it all off Oh my oh, yeah, that's god! Because cool, now Rubik enters and then she just pushes. You know, you have to be ready to buy back an instant buy that rapier if you're the troll. And I think he's ready yeah. to do just that as they gotta they initiate will on find the Mary. Mary. They will commit as well. They got latch on to two of the Sonic Wave with a double stun oh, as well to top it all off. Still, they game. they do lose Rain Prison. The process bait are here to respond as well. Shad on the sidelines trying to do a lot of heavy hitting onto the onto the Queen of Pink, who's actually harassing Stomany and Klasno. Just pulverizing Dendi out of the picture. They will lose Mary. They will lose to Stone Manian. Stone Bank loses life number one. Shed and the danger zone. And down he goes. Doesn't lose the, the rapiers just yet. So far it's just going to be it. The Aegis hype are still backing things up. They really want to get a hold That's on the, the Rave Luna. King going down again though. And without that yeah. Rave King. It's going to be a blink away. I mean Rave King got by. The Luna. Yeah, Shad going in on defense life pops an early BKB just to make sure he's not gonna get locked on to Nesphere. Oh, nice will take on it. the entire Eclipse damage by himself. The rest of the team will find more targets in the back line. Buyback is gonna be used up oh onto Nesphere. God, yeah, keeping the up the pressure raid. really wants to take down Dendi and they will lose the Zeus. Who, did, who didn't buyback, he has been alive for a while now. Not sure if he, he... Yeah, he does have a buyback if the case calls it for... Still... Double buyback Lion. is always gotta keep that swift blink up and running. Klasno on the crowd, high ground Riaf trying to find more targets to caress. I mean, this Queen of Pain is doing Stone wonders, adding well extra vision first. and everything. Stomanyan will be pulverized. This Rubik is completely out of the picture. Bates is their final fighting chance. They will get a lock on to Klasno, who will be taken down for the first time. Stone Bank in the danger zone. Really need to save your butt here, buddy, as you're not gonna live Has long enough. He on. does lose the second life there. Yeah, keeping up the chase. Chad is gonna die here. Buyback on the Luna. No more Aegis, uh, except the Reapers are available. The throne has been exposed. Shit there, but still, he's willing to fight this. Nesphere will snatch on to one, but it's not gonna be enough. The 78 and a half minute Onslaught Stipe finally take on the win. Holy moly. This was fun. This was yeah, fun this game. was really fun because okay. even at like 65 minutes, it was still exactly 50-50 win rate.